On 10th April 2019, myself, Gordon and C-Pop Fang went from Largs to Saddle Bay in Kintyre. It was a calm evening as the boats were left high and dry on the rocks when the tide went out. During the night, the boats refloated when the tide returned. We were up early to resume our journey before the now falling tide left them high and dry in the rocks again. We were up at 6am as it was estimated that the boats would be high and dry around 7am. The camp was collapsed as quickly as we could as the winds were beginning to rise and I didn't want the boat bounced off the rocks. Once the boats were loaded with their gear, stern lines were removed from the shore, outboards put in shallow drive and started. Once running smoothly, we hauled on the front anchor lines to pull ourselves off the shore and when the anchors broke free, the outboards were put into gear and we were off. It's a slick manoeuvre to assist launching into a head sea, but you have no room for mistakes as the wind and waves can quickly dump the boat back on the beach. The wind kept rising until it touched in a force four with one or two breaking waves. We turned northwards with the sea pushing our tail and headed for Skipness and then on to the Kyles of Butte.
As the morning became a little brighter, we pulled over and landed in Coors Bay for some breakfast. We didn't have time for any at the campsite. Beef burgers and coffee went down a treat, then it was back to sea, still heading for the Kyles of Butte. Once in the sheltered waters of the Kyles, we headed for the camping area at Buttock Point in the island of Butte and set up camp for the night. It was now a lovely afternoon, so we went walkabouts to see the Maids of Butte, which are two stones painted to look like the wives of two fishermen, who went to sea and never returned. Seeing the wives up close, I'm not surprised they never returned. Then it was back to camp to cook dinner and have a beer or five around the campfire. It was early dark that night and when we awoke in the morning we packed up and headed for Largs and then home. Another great adventure over. At present, although it's still a bit early for me to go into the wilds of the west coast, I'm heading out tomorrow with walking boots and the small boat to self-isolate, making some new videos. I will return when I get too cold, or hopefully before the, the government puts a lockdown in the country, due to the terrible virus which is sweeping the world. Stay safe folks, and I hope to catch up with you all on my return.